What's up, wonderful people of the world? This is Ramon Esclero. Uh, I wanted to show you guys the updated version of the $25 Legacy application, uh, which you can use on your mobile phone to send content to all your social media accounts with one click. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to show you how to create your images. Uh, you can even send videos, content, whatever it is, with one click to all your social accounts. Okay, so that's the application when you download it. That's what it's going to look like. Uh, on your phone, okay, it's a $25 Legacy app, you click on it, there we go, it's opening up, my phone's a little cracked, I dropped it, now as you can see here, I have content already scheduled to go out tomorrow, uh, midnight, now many of you will probably be sleeping by this time, uh, but I got stuff going on on Twitter, as you can see there, at midnight, uh, 12.05, 12.10, and so on, and if I scroll up, you can see other content that's scheduled out for Saturday, Sunday, March. If I keep scrolling all the way up, I mean, it schedules out for April. Let's see. I think all the way up to June I'm scheduled out till. Uh, let's see here. April. That's the middle of April, as you can see there. Let me zoom in. Let it catch up. Uh, give it a second. Let's go. There we go. See, April, as you can see there. We can keep going. We have all the way up till now. This content you can bulk upload. You can bulk upload all your messages that you want to send out within the application, within the system, uh, the desktop, and then it'll schedule it to go out. And you can see it all on your cell phone. What I want to show you is the image creator. Uh, I know there's a lot of programs out there that can, you can create images with, but uh, the one we have will allow you to post on all your social accounts not just one uh, not just a few but many so if you click on image creator it's gonna upload just as you can see here now this is the beta version okay as of right now but I'm going to go ahead and click continue now you can see content that I've already designed uh, and previously these ones are on the top left I actually sent out not too long ago uh, which was yesterday and today and some scheduled out till tomorrow but if you wanted to schedule out something that you already created you can do that because it says on your creations but you can also create new designs so if I was to click on new designs it's going to automatically upload blank now these are blank screens these two here are blank squares where you can add any content you would like stickers uh, text whatever it is you would like and there's also templates as you can see here in the application so you can click on it and add your content in or around it now this one here I'm gonna show you a little closer I'm waiting for it to go ahead and uh, propagate because you're gonna be able to see text that's already written within that image and that all these text that you see in these images you can edit them all rewritable change the colors etc I don't know why it's not uh, allowing it to focus, but there's many different configurations, uh, applications you can use right through your mobile app. Uh, everything that you see, you can edit the text, the image, you name it, color. And I'm just going to keep going for a quick second. Uh, here we go. So I'm kind of getting you an understanding of how many you can actually use. You got some with that cartoonish. Uh, you have beaches, highways. Uh, professional business layout advertisements uh, as you can see here uh, images where you can add your own image right within that phone etc these these are di different types of advertisement edit text. you can create your own memes uh, if you want to create your own meme you just click on that uh, which is fu fun if you're trying to bring uh, people to your page uh, you know maybe share it possibly create some fun content Create advertisement if you're a restaurant or store owner. You can create your own content, change all the edit, all that text, images, etc. As you can see there. And then you got all these regular backgrounds. If you love photography, you love to create your own quotes, you can do that here. So I'm going to scroll up and I want to kind of give you a quick view how to create one from blank. So I'm going to select this one here. That's just a blank screen. What's great about it is now I'm going to be able to edit this screen. See, there's right now there's nothing on there. All I have to do is click this blue circle. Okay, now it's going to give me some options. Do I want to add an image within that box? Do I want to add stickers, shapes, text, logo, 
emojis. I'm going to go ahead and click on logo for a second. And the logos that I've uploaded into the system are already there. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it right there. I have different images there, some from the past, some from the present. As you can see, my logo is now added. Okay. I know it's hard to see. I do apologize. I'm trying to get this to keep it steady, but let me go ahead and zoom in a little closer. As you can see, that the, uh, the logo is already there. I can resize it by clicking this corner. If I tap, if I untap it, the view moves. If I tap it, I hold on to this. I can move it, make it bigger, smaller, turn it, you name it. Uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of quickly create something here so you can see exactly how this is going to work. I'm going to move that up. Now, once you have, let's say you have your logo there, uh, you want to click outside the logo box. Okay, great. What's next? Well, you can change, you can flip the image, you can swap it, opacity, uh, arrange it. If you want to be, you want it to be forward or back, if it's behind text or behind image, you can you can edit all that out, ladies and gentlemen, which is a great thing. So it's hard to read, but the words from left to right are so. Oh, there we go. Swap, opacity, flip, and arrange. You can flip the the, the image vertical or horizontal. Horizontal. So if a guy's if you got an image of yourself, uh, PNG facing right, you can make it yourself face left, and then you can add text and, and, and uh, images in between there, however you would like. All right, so here we go. There it is. There's the logo. So next step, what I want to do is add text. So now that I'm done, I hit done, and then here comes the blue button again. So I'm going to tap that, and you, the next thing I want to do is add some stickers. Now, if I click on stickers, it's going to bring up a variety of stickers you name it it's here all you have to do is type in the search box right there what kind of sticker you're looking for so if I click in that box there and I look up uh, let's see I'm gonna look up uh, let me see if Bitcoin shows up I'm gonna look up Bitcoin and then I'm gonna click on search now it's searching for Bitcoin images, and voila, there we go. We got one, two, three, four, five different images that just popped up. That's just an example. Now, if I want to look up, uh, let's see, I'm going to reverse that. I'm just going to look up health, health, maybe health and wellness. I'll just look up health for now. I spelled it wrong, and I'm going to hit search. It'll, mat it'll automatically find stuff that relate. These are stickers that you can add on top of your images that relate to health. I mean, there's pages and pages and pages of health stuff. These are, it's a great way for you to create content that's original. No one will, will ever have the same image because you're creating yours from scratch, which is a phenomenal thing, ladies and gentlemen. So this is what I want you guys to see. Uh, I mean, you got food, apples, you name it. There's a stickers library, as you can see there. Uh, it's called stickers library, but if I tap on that, I'm waiting for it to focus in. It's taking forever to focus. Maybe I got to go closer. Possibly. Ah, there it is. Stickers library. You see that? When I tap that, I should have had a pen to do this. If I tap stickers library, you're going to see where it says stickers, props library, and Christmas stickers. We don't need Christmas stickers, obviously, so I'm going to hit Props Library and see what pops up. These are Props Library, so if you want to create some funny faces, uh, candy, someone eating candy, etc., eyeglasses, uh, mustaches, swords, uh, bow ties, <laughs> I mean, uh, Mexican hats, it's all here. Actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea. I'm going to add this Mexican hat, and what I'm going to do... I'm going to move this. Oh, I got to. Sorry about that. I got to show you what I'm doing here. I'm moving the hat and I'm going to put it on top of the lion's head. I just got to shrink it so it fits right there. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to get it so it fits on there. Just so you guys get an idea of how this works, okay? I'm going to move this lion up actually because he's too far up. Here we go. There we go. Now it looks like my logo is wearing the Mexican hat. You know, for Cinco de Mayo. You know how that is. Uh, so I'm just going to change the hat. 
a little bit smaller right about there so it fits perfectly there we go now if I tap on it you can see what it looks like all right and then I'm gonna cook I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is add that there I'm just gonna say happy Cinco de Mayo that's all and then I'm gonna post this and have it set to go out May 5th which is Cinco de Mayo so you guys can understand so that's a Mexican holiday so what I'm gonna do is click on done and the next thing I'm gonna do is click on the plus sign and I'm gonna put text and now the text box will appear and you can change the fonts the size you name it the color of this and I just I wish it had something let me see if my coffee cup can hold this camera steady oh, let's see but I gotta have it wherever it goes give me one second let's see if I can somehow get this to hold steady bear with me ladies and gents bear with me this is called home studio 101 not professional at all but there we go all right i'm gonna try to hold it like this so you guys can see it but uh there's a lot of a lot of light and that could be a problem considering all right maybe that's not gonna work do apologize for that but as you can see here what i'm going to do now is add text i'm moving my keyboard so it's making funny noises but i'm going to add text to that actual uh box here so i'm going to play i'm just going to tap inside the box i'm going to click on edit text where you see there and i'm going to put happy uh there we go happy the very top it's starting to come in and i'm going to put cinco Cinco, and then de, de, de mayo, M A Y O. Happy Cinco de Mayo, and that's pretty much the text that I'm going to add there. Simple, but effective. And then I'm just going to hit, and just like that, I'm going to change the font type. I don't want Arial. I'm going to change it, and you can change it from all these different options here that you have. Uh, I like Senzel. Senzel looks good. As you can see, Senzel, that's what Senzel looks like. And then you can spread it so it can fit on the screen. Okay, you want to center this. So what you're going to do is, if you look to the left, there's options to center it. There's options to change the color, make it bold, uh, you name it. It's there. Okay, all the options. So what I'm going to do is center it. That's number one. There we go. So now it's centered. I'm just going to make it a little smaller so it fits. I think it's D-E-L, Del Mayo. I could be wrong. Uh, but hey, you know what? Happy Cinco de Mayo. I'm sure they understand exactly what I meant when I read. But if you can see, uh, hopefully that's spelled correctly. Now I'm doing this from scratch, as you can see. You're going to be able to do the same thing. I mean, with your advertisement, you can add your logos, you can add your website address, you can add frames, images, you name it. You can add whatever you like to and post this on all your social media accounts. So let me finish up here. All right. So what I'm going to do is just click on done. All right. And I'm going to hit on save. And I'm going to put Cinco de Mayo. So save and download. I'm going to put just put a little hint here where I know what it is. Cinco Mayo. I'll just put Cinco Mayo real quick for short. And I'm going to, oh, I spelled that wrong. There we go. First of all, next thing I'm going to do is download. Okay, so it's download and I'm put save for later. Okay, there we go. Now I've created my image. I have it. It's good to go. Excellent. So now what I'm going to do is exit. All right, because I've already created my image. All right, so here we go. Now, what I'm going to do is post this image, and here we go. Here comes all my social accounts. When I exited, all right, let me show you how I did that. I exited, bring me back to the home screen. You're going to hit this little corner pencil, okay? That's so you can post to all your social accounts. Now, I have them all here. These are Facebook accounts that I am an admin of. All of these, as you see here, all different sorts and kinds, as you can see here. Pinterest, Telegram, Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter. Come on, man. Uh, so here we go. One. There's one account. Two accounts. 
You can go right down the line. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, yeah, let's do $25. Let's see. We're going to do Pinterest. Okay, we're going to go up, do Telegram. Once I post on Telegram, what will happen is I can take it from Telegram and then post it on Instagram and Snapchat. Okay, so Google Plus, uh, motivational video, more images, and one more but not least there. And I'm going to hit next. Okay, now do I want to write anything? You can if you would like to. You can create a comment right around here. So I'm just going to put Happy Cinco de Mayo really quick here. Uh, give me one second. I'm just going to put a hashtag. Uh, hashtag Cinco de Mayo. Give me one second. Uh, hashtag. I'm doing this with one hand. But if I had two hands, it'd be a lot easier. Easier. <laughs> de Mayo. Okay, here we go. Cinco de Mayo. And that's pretty much it right there. I could put hashtag May 5th. Uh, let me just do that one more. Hashtag May 5th. Okay. And that's it. Just Those are just hashtags, as you can see there. Uh, let me get a little closer. Oh, wow. Well, there it is. As you can see, it's going to all these social accounts. So next thing you do is hit next. And this is where we upload the image we created. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to click on documents. And then there it is, right there. That's the one I just created. It's uploading it. And boom, it's done. I hit next. Here's the great thing. When do you want to post it? Do you want to post it now? You can hit post now. But obviously, this is not for today. This is for Cinco de Mayo. So I click on post date. Today's date is Wednesday, March 7th. We're going to go to May 5th, right there. May 5th is now selected. I'm going to hit set. And then uh, the time do I want to post it? What time do I want to post this actual post? I could do it at midnight, or I could do it early in the morning. I'm going to choose 5 in the morning, 5 in the morning, and then a.m., and hit set, and then hit schedule. And it's that simple ladies and gentlemen it's now being posted for may 5th there it is ladies and gentlemen sweet pretty and beautiful on all those social accounts they're all going to get posted to, posted to and once they post to telegram i can take that and post it on instagram snapchat at the same exact time so very powerful beautiful app you can create your own images, etc. within this app. It is fun, phenomenal, and dandy. And that's what it's going to look like, okay? Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. So, hope you guys can see the power in this. If you love this, love this product, it's not just mobile friendly. You can do it all on your website as well, on, your, on the internet, on your uh, desktop, excuse me, on your desktop, on your tablet, on your cell phone. Very powerful feature. You can actually promote your YouTube channels. You can search content on the application from the website, uh, from your website, the website application. You can uh, search any content you would like to talk about, you would like to post about, and then have it set to automatically go on, on all your social accounts. If you're a Facebook business owner, this is a very powerful program that you should grab, ladies and gentlemen. You should grab this, ladies and gentlemen. It is a powerful application, $25 monthly that's what it's going to cost you to use this pro program $25 monthly post on all your social accounts promote all of your social accounts all your Facebook pages Pinterest accounts Twitter accounts if you have more than one unlimited accounts you can post to ladies and gentlemen unlimited accounts as long as you are an admin of these accounts you'll be able to post on these accounts okay not only that not only that you can start searching YouTube Get all your YouTube videos, pro, uh, hit, send them in one click to all your social accounts, to the website application. We also keep track of the stats, the best performing advertisements you sent out. We also give you a tool that helps you choose the best hashtags for your posts using the web application. Okay, 
So if you want access to this, $25 legacytools.com, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, check out the website, or you can go to $25 legacy.com if you would like to create an income along with the team of people. Uh, but if you want the product by itself without having to join uh, the income part of it, you can join 25, go to just go to $25 legacytools.com and you'll see the application there. You can go ahead and purchase it. Uh, that one there is $45 for the Pro, $25 for the Basic. Uh, uh, that's pretty much about it. So if you have any questions, reach out to me, comment below, like, love it, or hate it. Let me know. I'll be more than happy to give, give you more training videos on this using the web application as well as the mobile application. Take care now. Have yourselves a wonderful, fantastic day.